Gentlemen, up for your consideration today is the radical new hunting cartridge called 8.6 Blackout, shot from this Faxon Firearms AR-10. It's finally hitting the shelves. So what is 8.6 Blackout? Why would somebody want this is the question I've been asking myself. Because first, I looked at the ballistics numbers. I said, how is this better than my 30-06? And you look at it and you say, it just doesn't shoot flat at all. It doesn't shoot fast at all. This is like exactly the opposite of everything we usually want from a hunting cartridge. And then I saw some videos of Kevin from Q and he was hunting zebra with this. Zebra's a tough animal, wildebeest, and Cape Buffalo. He killed a Cape Buffalo with 8.6 blackout. And then you zoom in on those pictures from Q and you see like, holy cow, that's like a, eight 12 inch barrel on that thing taking down a cape buffalo that'd be sweet to hunt with such a compact little rig then i see some of the results from the ap 2020 youtube channel look at the result in ballistics gel usually the permanent wounds in ballistics gel are pencil for two inches then it gets really big for about six inches and then it goes back to a really small hole later on in the gel this just maintains a huge block of damage all the way through with a maker bullet. I've shot a lot of ballistics gel and that is some impressive terminal performance. So what is 8.6 Blackout? What is this gun? We're gonna find out today on Backfire. We may be talking about 8.6 Blackout in this video, but let's take a second and thank Mantis Leap who offers 100% Blackout. Mantis Sleep makes really innovative sleep masks that can improve your health by getting a better sleep, especially mental health. Sleep is important. So what this is, is it has really nice soft padded cups in here and they make different styles. They have vented, cooling. I have right here, these ones are heated that feels really nice. You put it in the microwave and I did it about 30 minutes ago and I can still feel that it's warm to feel that on your eyes as you go to sleep. They also have a new version that offers sound so you could have white noise and blackout and so you're just gone to the world. If you have kids, you know how tough it is to try to pull an all dayer. And so check out Manta Sleep. You can get 10% off by using coupon code BACKFIRE at checkout. That's Mantisleep with the link in the description. Use coupon code BACKFIRE. What makes the 8.6 Blackout so unique is actually the twist rate of the barrel. It's usually something that most hunters don't even look at. A modern cartridge, you know, might spin one, a complete 360 of the bullet in the, in the rifling of the barrel every seven and a half, nine, or 12 inches, depending on the cartridge. Well, the 8.6 Blackout has one complete 360 every three inches, a one in three twist rate. And so the bullet is spinning incredibly fast. That rotational energy is spinning at 500,000 RPM. That's pretty crazy because of that spin rate and the speed. And so when it hits ballistics gel, look at these. The only difference here is the, is the rotation, the, the twist rate of the barrel of the top compared to the bottom. Look at the 8.6 blackout on the top. It absolutely blows a huge cavitation in the ballistics gel. And then as you watch a little bit, you see like five of those little dieseling explosions in the ballistics gel. But this one, because of the rotation, creates enough of those little pockets that it creates five of those little flashes in there. It's really cool to see. So it's just a completely different approach to killing an animal with an 8.6 blackout. It's adding rotational energy instead of just more velocity. In fact, there's so much rotation of this bullet that you can't use a, your traditional, you know, a cup and core bullet because it just spins apart midair. You have to use a heavy bonded bullet or a copper bullet with 8.6 blackout, otherwise it just won't even work. To really understand 8.6 blackout, we need to actually go through a little bit of a history lesson. So our history lesson actually, to really understand the 8.6 blackout, we've got to go down for a little bit of a history lesson. So this whole story starts with this guy. This is the 223 Remington. That is the same thing that you would get out of an AR-15 like this. 
So very popular cartridge, 223, and they say, what interesting things could we do with this if we put in a heavier bullet that would allow us to get a little bit more energy out of the AR platform, but also allow us to shoot some subsonic stuff. So that is where we went from 223 Remington to the 300 Blackout. It's shooting subsonic or supersonic with a heavier bullet in the exact same platform. So 8.6 Blackout, this is its history. It actually starts with the 6.5 Creedmoor. So this is a much more traditional hunting bullet with a lot more powder capacity. And so they just took the exact same case from the 6.5 Creedmoor, and then the design of the 8.6 Blackout has a pushed back shoulder and a trimmed neck, and then it just has a huge bullet in it. We're gonna jump to the office for a little bit in this video because between takes, we were driving and this happened. And all of a sudden, my truck went boom! And the right, the left rear tire just went rolling off into traffic. I got a tire rotation on Saturday and uh, apparently they didn't tighten it on. The tire went rolling off. It bent out one at the axle and did damage to a panel on the other side. So it's been one of those days, but it'll help us here because we can talk about this gun from Faxon. And I wanna show you a couple ways that you could pretty cheap get into 8.6 Blackout if, if it interests you. And then I'm just gonna lay it out for you, pros and cons of 8.6 Blackout, and you can decide if this is a really cool revolution in ballistics and something you'd like to try, or if it's a very niche boutique cartridge that doesn't interest you for your application, you'll be the one to decide. So this gun from Faxon. Most of you guys know Faxon as a barrel maker. If you have an AR-15, there's a good chance you've purchased a Faxon barrel before. Um, they make them pretty inexpensive and good quality barrels. They're now making complete rifles. And like I showed you at SHOT Show this year, they've come out with a new bolt action, which I know a lot of you guys, most of the people on this channel are interested in the bolt action stuff. Um, so I think we're gonna be talking about Faxon more and more. It's a cool company made in the US. If you already have an AR-10 or an AR-308, you might hear it called. Basically, it's just a bigger brother to the AR-15, allows you to have some longer bullets in there. If you already have one, you could just get a $300 barrel from Faxon and bam, you got yourself an 8.6 Blackout. And so that's an option for you if you like the cartridge, but you're not quite ready for a complete gun, you could do that. But this thing is sick, man. It has an adjustable buttstock totally everywhere. So, you know, it kind of fits for a more hunting application. You know, your typical pistol grip, but it's a good quality one. Everything is made very, very well. It has a short throw on the safety, which I can't move in a video because YouTube has decided everything is gun modification these days. I tested the accuracy and I was getting about one and a half, maybe 1.75 inches at 100 yards. That's good to be expected from an AR-10 kind of platform. Not that they can't be extremely accurate, but that's pretty normal, maybe even a little bit better than normal uh, for what I see out of a typical AR-10. And that's exactly what Faxon promises with this kind of gun. If you're interested in Faxon, go check out their podcast. I It really helped me to kind of understand the brand and it's just a very blue collar American brand. Uh, made me a fan of them. So let's break this down. Tons of information, but let's just go over real basically what are the pros and cons of 8.6 Blackout? Because in the end, you gotta decide, is this cool and you wanna get in on this? Or is this more of a boutique cartridge that doesn't apply to you? I think the biggest pros are, if you're interested in shooting subsonic, this is a cool innovation. And that's where in the future, this could be really interesting because bullets are getting much better for subsonic applications. They're expanding at those slow velocities, but expanding big. Uh, Nito from a AP2020 YouTube channel, great channel. He had this photo of uh, one of the maker bullets and I'm like, holy crap, look how big those pedals are. If that thing's rotating at 500,000 RPM, that's, that's pretty wicked. And so in the future, could that be an interesting way to go? Absolutely. Can you imagine hunting with a little 12 inch barreled rifle out of your tree stand, subsonic? That's pretty sweet, right? And so that has definite promise for me. It's also accessible because if you're a reloader and you got a whole bunch of 6.5 Creedmoor brass, you can neck it up and you got your 8.6 blackout stuff. 
I wish I could show you that here on the channel, but YouTube won't let me show reloading stuff because I have been working on that. Uh, and it's been, it's just a very interesting cartridge to reload for. And you can shoot huge game with it. So there are a lot of pros to this that in the future could become bigger and bigger. But let's look at the cons as well. Let's say you're a Wyoming uh, elk hunter and you're, you regularly take 300 yard shots, 400 yard shots. Eh. Is this the best tool for the job? Probably not. Is it the coolest tool for the job? Yeah, absolutely, it's awesome. But I don't know if it's the most effective tool for that kind of job. You also, you have to use uh, bonded or copper bullets and those struggle to expand at slow velocities. And so uh, speed, which it doesn't have a lot of, it, you know, it's gonna limit your range. Also, a big con for me is I really like the quiet aspect of 8.6 Blackout, but most of all of my cans pretty much are 30 caliber cans, like a suppressor. So if you have a suppressor, most rifle suppressors are 30 caliber, which means you could shoot anything 30 caliber or smaller. You could shoot your 308, your 30 out 6, 300 Win Mag, but you could also shoot a 7 Mag, a 6.5 Creedmoor, 6 Creedmoor, 243, whatever. Anything smaller than 30 cal for most cans. But this is using a .338 caliber bullet or 8.62 millimeters, and so you're going to need a bigger can. You're going to need a bigger suppressor for this, and a lot of people don't have that, and so it's a little bit harder to get into the quiet aspect of the 8.6 Blackout. The other thing that has really taken a little bit of the legs out of 8.6 Blackout is the pistol brace ban from the ATF. So what it is, is it's saying if your barrel is shorter than 16 inches, you can't use a pistol brace. And so you would have to shoot it like a true pistol, which is harder to shoot accurately, unless you're going to go the SBR route and get a tax stamp. And so now that benefit of the 8 or 12 inch barrels is a little bit harder to get into. And so it takes away some of the advantage of an 8.6 blackout without some extra work. Now mine is a 16 inch barrel in this rifle and so you can definitely go that way, but you just don't get the advantage of having something compact and light. I put on here that ammo is harder to find, but it's actually not that difficult. There are several small kind of more boutique ammo manufacturers that are making it and it's pretty easy to find and order and I got it pretty cheap, but it's, you know, it's not like you're going to go to Sportsman's and find 8.6 Blackout. You definitely w won't because the Hornady's, the Winchester's, the Federal's aren't loading it yet. So where would I use 8.6 Blackout? Hello, Texas hog hunters. This thing is freaking awesome. Blender-like performance, short barrels. We can go subsonic, big old bullets to knock down those hogs. The next time I go hunt hogs in Texas, 8.6 blackout in the house for sure. Is it my general, my, you know, my general use rifle? I don't think so. It is a little bit more niche for me because I live out west and I'm doing a lot of hunting um, at longer distances sometimes. But if you're the tree stand hunter, you want to take out whitetail, hogs, everything like that, 8.6 blackout just might be right up your alley.